Hello Rutbags, it's Jade. Welcome to another Biomutant Guide. Today I'm going to show you how to get the heli backpack as well as the air balloon that you can travel around all of the northern scorched zone, the hot arid zones. I do believe they're called the nappy dunes. Um, it's a bit of a, another situation where some of this stuff might not be that useful to you. Maybe the air balloon helps a little bit, but the backpack, the helicopter backpack, it's just another disappointing item. I really hope they buff this and give it so that we can use it for quite a big longer time. If you do find this video useful, please give it a like and let's go. So you'll find this pretty much in the Knuppy Dunes, Nappy Dunes, and literally as you enter the first stages, literally just north of the Tree of Life. This is the northernmost tip that you can go across, I do believe. There's nothing else to explore other than these Nappy Dunes. Um, so yeah, enjoy it. You will need protection of 100 arid zone or 100 heat. So either have the heat resistance suit, which I've shown you guys how to get in another guide, so go and check that out. Or just make sure you've got your armor pieces that are going to give you that buff, as this whole area is obviously protected by the heat. So no, we can't use this just yet. We've got to get the heli backpack first. So it's not too hard at all. It's actually pretty close. Just south again, or just north of the Tree of Life on top of this mountain, and you'll see the big massive tower in the distance. Scoot on all the way up. There's no enemies on the top of this tower, so it's pretty easy to get the backpack. And then the air balloon is pretty simple too. I don't know what it is with some of these items. I understand maybe they're just to counter people that didn't put points into telekinesis or levitation. Maybe that's why some of these items exist, but they really just don't last long enough. They only last like two seconds, if that, and it just becomes something that you don't necessarily want to use. So I really do hope they patch it and give a much needed boost in terms of how much you can use some of these items. Now you might not have seen one of these air vents for a while, I've only come across this for like the first time in ages, but yeah, you gotta just jump up on it and then go in the air and then jump up onto the next platform. It won't take you all the way to the top. Once you get there, you'll see there's you know, lines, so we've gotta to go to a power box and do another little puzzle. This one is the X's, so you literally just gotta match the amount of X's. So I'm gonna take one here, I'm going to put that to two. I thought that might be the case, but it turns out my mass is pretty wrong. But we did get there in the end. I presume you should be able to do it even if you've got quite a low intellect score, as normally these missions generally give you a little try. Remember, if you fade it a couple of times, it always makes it a bit easier for you. Now I like this guy. Why can't I have him as a pet to actually fight and do stuff for me instead of just a mount? That would be really cool. Anywho, travel back to Lobo in the bunker station and yeah, she'll be happy to see her pet doggo. She'll now give you the chance to go and get the heli backpack. It's actually got some decent stats in terms of the kite energy. So definitely if you're kind of a, a magic user, a chi energy user, I would use this absolutely. And now to go and get the air balloon. So for this one, it is again pretty close by, you saw it on the map, and we've just got to go across onto this oil tanker using this, or go ahead and try using the heli, but the heli just won't last long enough, so I don't recommend you use it that often. As usual, if you fall into the water on these parts, you are pretty much going to die. There was no way for me to crawl back up, so yeah, don't do what I did here. Eventually I got it right, there's a bit of loot here as well and there is an escape another wire to take you back to where you got to go or just go simply fast travel to Lobo. And of course another rotation puzzle, super simple this one again, you won't need lots of intellects, you saw I had about 8 left. And then we get the anchor and that's what we was actually after. It's super simple to just return, there is an underground uh, little tunnel nearby here so you might want to explore a little bit more but I didn't bother. So I just went back to the Lobo and we are away with our air balloon. So this seems great, it's like oh my god I can just travel across the whole map now, amazing. Ah, uh, of course not, no, you can only use it in the cluffy dunes, I've been calling it the nappy dunes. <laughs> and that is it, that is the only place you can actually use this thing. Just press the triangle button to drop the anchor and drop down and then you can get back onto it, it will literally stay there. You can summon it just like you can with all your other mounts and vehicles. And yeah, just such, such a waste of an item. Like by the time you get up to the north, that's meant to be one of the hardest, difficultest areas. And I've done this after I did most of the story, I only had like one last bit to do. And I just feel like, man, it wouldn't hurt to let us use this across the rest of the map by now. If you've gone all that way north, you've unlocked it, chances are you probably are high level. But you can see if you try taking it away from that zone, the wind will just blow you back. 
So fingers crossed that might be something they consider for the whole of the game and add into a patch or an update. So yeah, it was nice call cool trying to get some uh, screenshots of me using my heli backpack and the air balloon. You might still just like it, you might be a bit of a completionist and you might want to make sure you've got all the items. So good luck getting it and as ever, check out the rest of my guides. I will see you at bags soon.